We are in Sien. Welcome, guys. This is a today small place, but many, many years ago, after the medievals, that was the second biggest city in Norway, because we are in Norway, and until today it's very beautiful, and there are some remnants from the old times. So I will, I would like to show you very nice buildings which were used in Norway since many hundreds of years because Norway is the country where a lot of wild animals live that's how the old farmers and old people were protecting their foods this is like a old style of storage house this one you can see that this is built on some kind of poles and uh, this way the foxes or whatever animal would like to have a feast there are not able to come practical thing and this place uh, where we are standing here was built about 200 years ago actually the storage house is much older but the the kind of a wooden palace which we saw in the beginning was built 150 years ago and it was a school for good housewives can you imagine 150 years ago <laughs> This school this time was used as the refugee camp for the people who came from the Ukraine escaping from the war. So it was a lot of them until a few weeks ago. Now time is different. And come back to the story of Shen or Xi'an. They call it Xi'an or Shen, the local guys. They have these different dialects. It is a city which is located not far from another city town, Poshkrun which are connected to the long fjord. Poshkron is located by the fjord. Xian is a little bit higher and it's connected with the system of dams and, and channels. And they lead you up to Telemark, to a big lake, which is called Nurshuen. Both of you who like kayaking, sailing and boat trips, take this trip and you can almost take a a kayak ride from the fjord up to the Nurshuen. And uh, Shen today, it's quite a big city as for Norway, but of course it's nothing comparing to Oslo or Trondheim when it comes to the amount of people, but still a lot of people live here. It was before a big industrial place, now it's a more a cultural place until today. There are many writers, singers, musicians, of course, the main start is Ibsen, which are connected to Shen, and Ibsen was born here. And until today, a lot of cultural activities. So when you drive from the uh, east coast to the west coast, this is one of the places which you can pass and spend some time here, enjoy, enjoy the beautiful nature. That is a lot of places to go cross country in the winter, which we have now and a lot of places to hike in the summertime, mountains. They, this area is called Telemark, so it's quite a lot of villages. This is also a rural area with a lot of farming. Nice place to go. So, welcome to Xi'an, which is sometimes called Shen. Subscribe, we'll tell you about more interesting places and see you next time.